enjoy watching this crowd because this will be the second to last stage you'll see this crowd. It will be the last stage you'll see this crowd in the shitty Italia on a mountain stage. Just enjoy these guys. 72 guys will be on this on this stage. How many will will finish? That's the question. It's seen before on a stage like this that guys abandon the race. But can Alberto Contadora keep his pink jersey? That's the question. Can a guy... Can he get unlucky and crash maybe? Who knows? It's gonna be exciting to see if anything happens. This is the last attempt for anyone to go away. Can Rodriguez take back his mountain jersey from Johnny Hoogland? Who took it out of nowhere? Let's see if we can find the big Dutch guy. Where is he at? You probably see him, but I don't. He... That's in Quintano. My bad. Not that's Johnny Hoogland, actually. Just look at him. I hope he keeps it. He deserves it. For being run over by a car, he deserves it. No one seems to attack already. We'll come back with someone attacked. Oh my god, what a gift. A gift to the television. The world champions decide to attack again. With a Dane. I mean, with a Dane. Come on. The world champion allows you Barker attacking. And down here, just look. They're just cruising by. They don't care. We see the pink jersey sitting by the Norwegian champion. It's cool. And we have the red jersey in the background. Just enjoy this. This scenery is just awesome. Look at the mountains in the background. Who would have thought of this? Cycling is awesome. Cycling is perfect. Leave a like for cycling in general. Let's see. They, I, this would be amazing if we could keep it all the way to the finish because the world champion attacking twice in the same race? Who would have known that? I mean, Philip Shell Barrett is a beast. Just thank you for attacking. Like, just seeing the world champion's jersey in places it's never been before. It, that's what, that's the love of cycling. Are you ready to see Tom Bone raise a sprint? This would not be an intermediate sprint without Tom Bone sprinting. Just enjoy him. This is the second last stage you'll be seeing him sprint anyway. All by himself, no one attacks with him. It's just Tom Bone against the world. Is he even going up the rankings? I don't think so, but he does it anyway. It's Tom Bone. He's on cocaine. We all know it. The breakaway right now has got three minutes. It's our. They don't seem to be able to win the stage with this time. It's something with AG2R in three minutes, they know they can keep those minutes, so... It's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be exciting with all the fireworks in the end. If we just take a look at this last three mountains, that's gonna be a real decider. I think a guy like Magician Nibali has got to attack on this hill, on this mountain, with a guy like Samuel Sanchez, or at least in the downhill right here, because you, that you can get a lot of time on guys like Contador who sucks at downhilling, so that's my preference. Let's see if... Hoogland will attack on this one, because there'll probably be points for Hoogland and Rodriguez to get. So let's see if they actually decide to duel it out. Kim Rodriguez needs three points to take the Mountains jersey. Will he get it right here? It should be available to get. Yes, there's four points available for the guy that Oh, who's this? Andy Slake's attacks all the way out here. We'll have, we have attacks from Sylvie Chevanel and Andy Slake all the way out here. This is a known Andy Schleck attack. He did in the Tour de France in 2011, I think. He went all the way out and told Mullet and went away. Robert Gasing is trying to follow. He needs. He knows that this is the last stage he'll be able to attack. Robert Gasing, Andy Schleck, and Sullivan Chevenel off to Dreamland. Can they keep this? Let's see how much time they have already. This is going to be intense. Can Andy Schleck do it again? He's done it in the past. We know he's capable. Can he do it? He is trying to make the way for his captain, Christopher Froome. Or is he just... Tr oh, we have attack. From the white jersey, Tuba Pinot is attacking, and right behind him is Frank Slick. The fireworks starts all the way out here. Who could have scripted such an amazing stage? The fireworks starting all the way out here, and we still have four mountains to go. What amazing state! What an amazing things happening! Amazing things happen. But mm, that means that Rodriguez did not get the points on that mountain. Maybe Johnny Hoogland gets to keep that mountain jersey after all. Unless he can come back in the end and cut the door gifts into him or something like that. It's gonna be tough. The guys, these three guys are catching up to the breakaway. Are they pacing down here? Yes. It seems like they're finally pacing. Oh, let's see. Lost hitting back in them has two minutes. Will more guys attack when these guys catch up? Or will they just drive off by themselves? Andy Schleck and Robert Gasing are working together. Frank Slack and Thibaut Pinot is coming up to help him too. They got 45 seconds. Now they got 3 minutes. Their lead is increasing slowly. These guys are going fast. They're kind of out of the GC. So if they win, it doesn't matter to anyone. Ooh. Last hit, they're dropping the Dane. This, this speed is dropping the Danish guy. It's not working for him. I can kind of see why. Because this is all big GC riders. Except for Philip Schilbert who just can't follow. It seems like he can't follow anymore. And... So and Chevenel, they're not the biggest guys. They got five minutes. This lead is increasing by seconds every time. And the tag, they're not attacking, are they? No, they're just letting Chibapino get these points. 
Oh, setting up. They, they dropped the two. The two guys that were original in the breakaway, they dropped him. As you see there, Johnny Hugelin's got three points down to Rodriguez, but Contador can take it on this stage. He's only five points away, so if he doesn't get it, he... Contador might take it. Oh, what the heck? Chevalier Chevenel attacked him downhill. He wants to get away from the fellow breakaways. Oh, this stage is gonna be a long one for you guys to watch, because this firework is just getting started. I just realized, we won't be seeing some bone in sprint in this, uh, intermediate sprint. That makes me sad. It's Tom Bone, we want to see him sprint. He always sprints. Oh, they didn't sprint for it in the breakaway, it seems like. Nope. Let's see, Tom Bone, are you gonna sprint? No, that's such a shame. Just sprint, just for the fun of it. Be like, yeah, I'm gonna show my Belgian cars, because I'm proud of being Belgian. It's one of the only guys in the world. Let's see, Robert Gessing is setting a fast pace in front with Thibaut Pinot helping him. Uh, no, that's Frank Slake, my bad. The two brothers in the, in the breakaway, Andy Slake and Frank Slake. Are they having a hidden agenda? Are they helping each other? Oh, Sylvan Chevenel is getting dropped. He attacked before, but he's now getting dropped. They now have... How much time? Let's check Andy Schleck. He's probably the best one in the breakaway right now. Let's see. Right now, they have six minutes left with 40 kilometers. This might just be the break in these guys' day. This long attack might just work out, but are they dying? You never know. You can't tell if they're dying. Because that long attack is going to really set the disdain on their muscles. They've definitely dropped two big punches already. Sylvain Chevenel and Philip Schilbert, the world champion. Let's see. So in the breakaway... These four guys, two of them block from Luxembourg, one from French, France, and one from the Netherlands. They're not going to go for the points on the top. Andy Schleck, is he in the mountains jersey? Not at all, but he got the points anyway. Let's see, Joaquin Rodriguez is leading up the mountain. Are they going to show? He got no points of that too, so that's that's a shame. Three kilometers left, now it's going downhill. They got three minutes in the front. Is this going to be their day? Is it going to be Andy Schleck and Thibaut Pinot? I admire Thibaut Pinot's encouraged by going with these... These guys got experience, and he's going with these riders. He knows this isn't something good, and he's got to do this. If this backfires, he might lose the white jersey on the second last stage of the Giro d'Italia. That'd be a shame for him. He's worked so hard for it. But they now have about three minutes, and it's decreasing. They did not start to attack the break in the pill. Oh, yep, they just did. Christopher Froome is attacking. Now Contador is following. Now the lead is going to be blown to pieces. Ryder Hachet is attacking with him. Alberto Contador is going away with Nibali and Valverde on the wheel with Kyle Evans, Samuel Sanchez, Jürgen van der Broek, Daniel Martin, Juan Jose Copo and Wiggins. This is a big group of Dragon. Just look at all these stars in one big line. They all know it's now or never. Let's see how much time do they have up to these guys. It seems like 225. Oh, now Andy Slag is attacking. He knows he's got to go too. Andy Slag is going away. He's trying to push this so far that Alberto Contador can't catch up. He knows Alberto Contador is better than him. He realized that from the Tour de France. Even though he's won it before, I don't think he could, he could beat Contador again. Now he changes the Nibali attacks. He's getting away. No, he's not getting away. There's only four guys left up here. They lost Valverde, Van den Broek, Samuel Sanchez, and Cattle Evans, and Bradley Wiggins. They lost those guys. This is intense. So much stuff is happening. Look, in front right now, Andy Schleg is off by himself. He got two minutes down to the Contador group. A minute down to these guys. And these guys got a minute down to this guys. Which is decreasing fast. Thibaut Pinot seems dead. He can't go anymore. He's gonna go on the wheel right now. Otherwise something will happen. But Andy Schleck in the front with two minutes left. And Christopher Froome is here. If they catch up, they might use Andy Schleck as helper for Christopher Froome. But Christopher Froome has no reason to help this right now. They have a guy in the front. But he is. He's actually attacking. And this is one big group now. Thibaut Pinot actually fall over the top. He is really good sitting in the front right now. What a sight. He might be a big star in the future, who knows. Alberto Contador is up in the front right now. He's trying to catch Andy Slake. They have a history between those two of those guys. The Death Stairs and the LDS and all that. You all know it. I don't have to repeat it for you guys. Let's see. Eight and a half kilometers left. Andy Slake is in the front. He's just drinking off the water bottle. He is getting ready. He's getting hydrated. He's getting pumped up. Um, he might be listening to Survivor in his ear right now by, uh, by the final... Oh, no, who's singing Survivor? the heck? I don't even know. I give up. Final... No, I, I give up. I, don't, I can't make that reference. Reference. Let's see, down here it's going slow again. They still have a minute and 40 seconds out there. They might just let Andy Slag, no! Robert Gessing is trying to attack. He's getting away. He's attacking the right Hachel, don't have to attack. Now, now they have to react to that. Even though he's 29th, he's going for the stage win. The lead to uh, Andy Slag is decreasing by a lot. He only have like a 140 40 now. Robert Gessing already had the 30 second lead down to these guys. But his own teammates is catching him. What's going on on Blanco? What is Blanco thinking? 
Fires must be shouting in the microphone right now. Get down, right eye shield. Let Robert Hessen go. He's got a chance to get up to Andy Slick. Now it's going flat before it goes really far up in the end. Just look at that black spot. The black spot means it's over 15%. It's going fast. 120 to the top. Let's go, Hessen. Hessen, I'm, I'm counting on fires this time. The scene doesn't need any more victories. Let's go. Oh, who's this? Christopher Froome is attacking with a bunch of contador as well. Only Nibbly seems to be able to follow. They dropped Robert Gessing, Tiba Pino, Frank Slag, Samuel Sanchez, and all these guys finally catched up and they dropped him. Now Rad Hedgelot's going off with Nibbly, Froome, and Contador. They got a minute and three seconds up to Andy Slag. His lead is decreasing by the second. But it, does he have a, too big of a lead? 50 seconds. It's getting close for Sinon. He might be screaming in his microphone too. Let's go, Andy. Let's go. But they have Froome up here. No, he's getting dropped actually. Andy Slag is going to be the last chance. And he only got 35 seconds out there. Alberto Contador is leaving Nibali. Now he's setting up in the saddle. He's actually moving faster. It's gonna be a sprint between these two guys. A long attack for his leg might not have worked because now Alberto Contador is catching up to him. They got 51 seconds down to Nibali. It seems like the sheerest champion of the sheer Italia is gonna be Alberto Contador. He's just driving right past Andy Slag. Can Andy Slag gonna get in on his wheel? No, Contador is just leaving him. It's gonna be second place for Omega Fama Quick Step, which is Sinon's team, but it seems like Contador is just going to win this. He's going to be the champion of this year's Shield Italia. This is intense. When Jensen Nibali is coming up. Now Froome is catching up to Nibali slowly, but doesn't matter really. All these guys are spread to pieces. They're not even working together anymore. In the front, we have Contador just going in for victory. He doesn't even need to sprint. Take a look at this. This guy won the Shield Italia. Alberto Contador, congratulations. Behind him, Andy Schlag is going really slow, but he still managed to get second place. Congratulations, your long attack. It worked dividends. Now Nibali gets third. He did a really good job. I think... No, never mind. But I'll bet you don't mind taking Johnny Hoogland's mountain jersey. What a douchebag. Now the tail ends keep on coming in. Chiba Pino is down here. He keeps his white jersey. What a beast. He's a star in the future. He's gonna be there someday. I bet you. He's gonna be the next Contador. Chiba Pino, Piero Land, those kind of riders. Gonna be the new Contador. This will be the final podiums, I think. Contador won in front of Andy Schleck, Nibali, Froome, Heschel, Vandenbroek, Valverde, Wiggins, Frank Schleck, and Samuel Sanchez. Samuel Sanchez lost a lot of time again. That's a shame for him. But the attack by Omega Fama Quick Step, good job. Jesus Christ! Contador won with four and a half minutes down to Vincenzo Nibli who gets second place. And Cat Levens managed to give Lodge Belly Sol a third place with 747. And Samuel Sanchez does not get in top three by 12 seconds. Can he maybe get to the next stage? I don't think so. But Alberto Contador destroyed the overall points classification with third. 33 points down to Vincenzo Nibali, you get second, and Cat Levens gets third with 137 points. There's no sprinters up there because they are all abandoned, like a bunch of pussies. And, Bertie Contador takes it over Martin Jersey with 64 points down to... He takes it away from Johnny Hoogland with 8 points. I feel sorry for the guy who get, got ran over by a car, but Bertie Contador takes it away from him. So that's three jerseys for Alberto Contador already. They could have taken the uh, young jersey, but Chiba Pino is too much of a beast. He get, takes it with 20 seconds down to TG Van Garen. Taylor Finney, 9th, two, and fi 2 hours and 55 minutes away from it. Holy cow. And the best team is going to be Omega Pharma Quick Step. Good job, Sinon. Good job. But seems like uh, David did a better job with this AG2R. Thank you guys for watching.